In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you on how you can download and install Adobe Photoshop CC. But before that, you have to know the system requirement for your computer in order to run or the system requirement needed to run Photoshop CC. So you can search in Google Photoshop CC system requirements and click on the first link also it shows some details here Let's say for the ram you need 8 gb graphics card and around 2 gb of graphics card and the resolution or you can click the first link here right click and open a new link and it will direct you to this link which shows the the min minimum recommended system requirements for photoshop these are the requirements for the Windows computer and down is the for the Mac users Mac computers as you can see it usually give uh, required 8 GB to 16 GB but usually uh, 8 GB will will run Photoshop and a 2 GB of processor either Intel or EMD with a 64-bit architecture and 2 GB 2 GB graphics card and hard disk space of 4 GB for Mac it's similar it's almost is similar so before you install Photoshop you must know the system requirement in order to run Photoshop after you meet the requirements and you can search in Google free Adobe Photoshop CC and click on the first link and it will direct you to this link once it's direct you to here start your it's either you start your free trial or you can buy the photoshop software but for this we are going to start our first uh we are going to start the free trial so click on this as you can see it will start to download here once it's download open click on this drop down drop down arrow and show in folder click once it's click there, double click on this to run the setup in order to install the setup or the program. Once you double click it, ins install Creative Cloud in Photoshop, this will pop up. It will ask our credentials. CC is, it stands for Creative Cloud. So co click continue and click yes and add your email and click continue if you are new user you can click continue or if you want to link from your facebook account or apple account you can click either of this but since we don't have yet account just put your email and click continue or you can click the create an account and we are going to add our credential you can either check this or not check or leave it default by that but for that we are going to leave it like that and click the create account then after that we are going to start installing you can read this description and start installing but now it will pop up this option we are from which we are going to use photoshop or our role from the list let's just select student and continue you can skip but uh, we will are going to answer it let's just pick the i've never used it before or we can select the skip question As you can see it's installing the created cloud Photoshop as you can see it's almost finished installing the program and it created this installer in the desktop so let's wait for it to finish now it's uh, now it's opening installation of the program differs on the on your system or your computer specs and your internet if you have a uh, very fast internet it will be easier or it will only take some few minutes to install the program but since now it shows this uh, pop-up just click on the continue don't remove all versions just let's, let's uncheck this and click continue uncheck this also 
and continue and click OK. Now it's updating. Once Photoshop is done installing, it will pop up this icon. This is the main interface of the Photoshop. The default interface, the first you use Photoshop, it uh, includes this, uh, include this and some of the icons here can open or create project so you can click create so that's how you can install adobe photoshop so let's click this one the default size of photoshop and create you can use this program within seven days or you can buy after that so this is the default interface of photoshop in the next video i'm going to show you on how you can create your in the next video i'm going to show you on how you can create your first project or document in photoshop and i'm going to explain some parts there you can create on this area the first reload the photoshop i'm going to explain this so see you on the next video